So Steve, I want you to start, just tell us a little more about yourself uh, and Confident Cannabis. What does your company do? What's your role there? Sure. So uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Confident Cannabis. Uh, my co-founders and I, we, we started the company about five years ago to help solve what we thought uh, and believe still is the biggest problem in the legal cannabis industry, which is trading business to business being too hard. And so Confident Cannabis is a software platform designed for legal licensed operators across North America. And we've helped them simplify their wholesale testing and trade. Uh, we have two products. One of them is our lab testing platform, which is used by about 60% of the operators in North America across 30 different markets. Um, our second product is our business to business wholesale marketplace. And that's uh, currently only live in California and Oregon. Uh, we are based in California, technically, although COVID, uh, we've scattered all over the place now. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're, we're growing quickly with the market. Yeah, you guys are in a great niche for sure, um, especially nowadays. And uh, tell us a little more about the, um, you know, why did you reach out to us? Why did you, what prompted you to start working with us? And what was the, the, the goal that you were trying to achieve? Yeah, so as I mentioned, we currently work with about 60% of the cannabis and hemp testing labs in North America. And that's both a good thing and a bad thing. It's, it's good to have a high market share like that, but it's, it's difficult to grow. And uh, you know, even though the, the market itself is growing, there are a number of new labs starting all the time. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's hard to keep the growth rate up when, when you've saturated the market like that. So what we wanted to do was uh, kind of go the next level and really build an account-based marketing campaign where we can target our, our identified leads. And you know, the, the list of labs is, is fairly short. There's only about 250 of them in North America. Um, so there are only you know, a few hundred leads that we would want to go after and they're fairly identifiable uh, because the list of licensees are, are, are public in most, in most states. Um, and so you know, just general kind of um, you know, SEO, SEM, that's not really um, going to drive the, uh, move the needle much. And so uh, we wanted to target them specifically with uh, an email drip campaign and um, you know, direct mailing uh, gifts and gift boxes. Um, and so as I was looking online for different services who could provide just the fulfillment of the boxes, um, that was initially just what I was looking for. So it's so sort of like a pack and ship uh, company. Um, and I was dreading all the work that we would have to do, you know, filling the boxes and printing FedEx labels and, you know, ordering the swag and all that stuff. Um, but then I came across SAS MQL, who does who really just did it all for us. So, um, you know, I, I love the fact that you guys did a combination of email and direct mail. So you kind of synchronize those two campaign channels. Um, I know you do other channels like LinkedIn. LinkedIn isn't uh, something that is as re relevant for the cannabis industry. So we didn't use that part of your service. But um, the fact that you kind of took it from inception, even the copywriting for the email campaigns that was helpful, just took a lot off our plate. We have a small team um, and we have a lot to do. And so to not really worry about executing this uh, was, was really appealing. And so, yeah, we, we uh, you know, reached out and signed up with you guys. And um, we recently concluded the campaign for our lab uh, account-based marketing, which is very successful. I'm happy to talk a little bit about that in a minute. Uh, and we're considering doing it for our B2B marketplace soon. And yeah, we found from the beginning that you guys were the perfect candidate, both from a ABM type of strategy, obviously, because you know you have a very specific market and they're very uh, well identified. Your targets are really well identifiable. And uh, so we have to go very in, in depth within those accounts. And like you said, we, we specialize in running this integrated campaign. So, uh, you know, just sending the box usually doesn't cut it. It's great when you start uh, combining multiple channels against the same audience, which is this 250 labs and the owners or other, other roles within those labs, and then try to engage them with this, uh, with this message across all the different channels. And uh, yeah, in fact, we saw a lot of engagement was a combination of the emails, the direct mail, people going on the landing page and signing up, people replying to the email. And we saw it across the board and 
uh, actually we were pretty impressed <laughs> by the the level of engagement that we were uh, we were having uh, can you tell us more um, about the results of uh, of this uh, of this program what you're seeing from your end yeah yeah so uh, we, we we did get a lot of engagements on the emails um, you know I, I think part of the reason is because um, the targets that we're that we're going after don't really get a lot of marketing um, you know, relevant marketing, you know, the, the lab space is, is, is small and narrow and to talk about cannabis lab software is very, very niche. So they don't really get many people talking about that kind of thing. Um, and so, so that was, that was that, that's helpful. Um, also the, um, you know, people don't really send them gifts. And so <laughs> to get a little box with, you know, a mug and some coffee that's nicely packaged and branded, I think was, uh, was, was really helpful. Yeah, no, I was saying we decided to go for you. I think we, we finalized on the on the nice little gift box with the mug and, and the one page just to share kind of what, what the direct mail looked like. Um, so this uh, kind of the theme around, you know, this nice little, little gift box and your branded mug, branded box, uh, and the one page you're describing your platform. That's what they received. Yeah, yeah. And so people really enjoyed receiving that. They're, you know, flattered. Um, and so... They were happy to, to reach out and you know we had many many demos uh i think i think we got uh, something like 20 or so which represents about 10 percent conversion rate of you know emails and, and and box shipments uh to demos which i think is pretty high um yeah. and then you know many of those demos ended up converting frankly a lot of them um or maybe not a lot of them but but some of them were we're already in our CRM. We had contacted them maybe a couple of years ago and then just, you know, didn't, you know, follow through or hadn't followed up with them. And it turns out they, uh, you know, in the meantime, had probably gone with a different solution and then weren't happy. And then we just kind of got them at the right time. And they said, you know, perfect timing. We're reevaluating our software. Um, let's set up a call and we, you know, want a, a, several accounts like that. So um, all things considered, we probably generated, I mean, our, our average uh, annual contract value is roughly twelve thousand dollars a year. Um, you know, it varies, but that's ballpark to what, what what it looks like. Um, and so, you know, even just signing one contract with with this uh, campaign with you would have would have made the campaign pay for itself. Um, and I and I, I I don't have the numbers off the top of my head, but we, I think we probably signed two or three by now. And then you know we've got like another uh, three or four in the pipeline in some form of uh, pitching or onboarding. So, um, you know, high likelihood of converging those as well. So yeah, from an ROI perspective, this was a very, um, very worthwhile thing to do. And this is what we like to hear. You know, at the end, you know, you can generate engagement leads and all of that, but if you don't, if you're not able to convert them and you don't have the ROI, it's not something that it's gonna, it's gonna be, uh, you know, valuable. So it's, it's great to see that they're actually closing and closing pretty fast and, the engagement and was I not just you know after they received the box, but they engaged throughout the sales process and actually uh, became customers, which is great. And I saw we also got a lot of engagement, you know, twenty plus people that booked the demo, but there were many others that you know have a reply or maybe they're not ready yet or they might be in the future. So there was a ton of overall engagement from an account perspective, and then I'm glad to see that many of them converted down the funnel. Yeah. 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 It's, it was great. Um, and awesome. then, you know, working with you and your team, uh, you know, was also really, really great. Uh, uh, I love the fact that you guys kind of get technology and integrations. Well, uh, you know, we, we had a, a really nice pipeline of tools. So people would, you know, get an email, click to a landing page, track it with the UTMs, uh, fill out a form, uh, book a time with Canly that would send a Slack message to us so we could have visibility and you know what's happening and um it would round robin between our sales reps according to their availabilities and it was just all very very seamless uh with very little kind of manual coordination there and uh you know your help with you know cleaning the leads list identifying potentially new leads getting email addresses for everybody doing all that web research and data entry um the air table that you that you created to share with us was, was very very helpful as well so yeah, the whole process was just very easy to work with and you know, communicating with you over Slack was, was great, very responsive, um, never really felt like you were you know, too busy for us or anything like that. That's, that's awesome to hear. I'm glad that the, the automation that we create are, are working because we saw that 
you know, if you're not able to quickly follow up, right, you want to have that instant notification so that your team can immediately follow up when someone requests a demo or have a question. And so that's why we, we set up those automation from the beginning. And you know, it's great to see that they are, uh, they're working and you get value from it. Steve, thank you for, uh, for sharing the, the project and uh, the results with us. Um, really appreciate it. Yeah, my pleasure.